So the damn deer figured out how to get into my garden and stomp the hell out of some of my stuff. Look at that. Look at that. What a beast. And they basically eat the tops off of the um, zucchinis here, which are growing quite large with all the rain. I'm Justin Hit from Prosperity Homestead. Deer are my nemesis. And even though I have a 3D fence up, there's either something touching the fence or I have to retrain them on the fence. But the deer jumped in here and they've been eating, as you can see they eat the tops off the tomatoes and they eat some of the leaves off the uh, zucchini and see the tomatoes on the back, ate those all down. Of course they get up in here too, man, ate some of the wildflowers, ate some of the flowers that are in here. Yep, ate some bulbs, oops, sorry. Walked right up on a bee. So there's a couple things that we're doing. See that tomato right there? So I'm gonna put down some pork blood. I'm also going to trim up some of the plants in here and mulch some more. See they ate down to there. And then I'm gonna take that cattle panel and put it down across the bottom to grow some bitter melon on. One of the advantages of a, of a tiered garden is that the, the plants at the bottom can get sunlight and the sun can get over it to the plants in the back. But ultimately, again, the deer get in here and they stomp on the asparagus. You can see they, they ate out all the young asparagus and stomped on the rest. They get in here and tear up my flowers and tear up my gear. So you've got to grow enough for you and enough for the, the squirrels and the rabbits and the, and the deer as well. Look at that. I got into this as well. So one of the advantages of this type of bedding system though is it grows pretty fast. You can see some melons in there. Uh, I have the same plant someplace else, another piece of property, and they're not quite this big yet. Uh, these plants are planted after the ones that are at the other site. But again, this is growth because it's a matured bed, lots of water, biological activity in the soil. And you can see the plants down there are not as big. There's a yellow neck crook squash. I got some of them over there. But what I'll do is I'll harvest some of these and send some, take some with me to the other property and uh, make sure I'm sharing on the goodness. So in the deer, let's see, deer got in and stomped some of my onions. Knocked the flowers off of some things. Here's a yellow squash. And so we just keep growing. Harvest, I need to check more regularly and harvest. I'm gonna uh, trim the grass there and try to put this uh, trellis like right at the, right inside here so I can get, still get access to it. So I can plant behind it and then I can still get access to it on the front. And hopefully what, what's probably gonna happen is a deer are gonna jump over that little fence area and jump right into this barrier and then freak out and stomp the hell out of everything. But again, I try. I don't know if you remember, I chopped and dropped all the, the greens that were here. And then we had some greens grow back. Uh, they're actually, it's a little hot for them to be tasty. So I, I basically chop and drop that again. And I had some potato over here. It looks like the deer ate the top out of. This potato is actually in the bed. It's not, not in the path, it's in the bed. But you gotta love them. Oh, and here's the, the onions that I, uh, I got revived to replant. And you can see the deer turds here. I'm not sure how they're getting in here though. But I have to recheck the fence because you can see where they walked and laid through here. And they walked up in here and ate. And uh, I don't know if they're in the wooded areas. Sometimes I'll find a baby deer in there somewhere. I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. Plant twice as much as you need. Plant in multiple locations. Uh, plant as many plants as you can get in the ground because deer are gonna come along and action on this stuff. And um, that's why we don't do the big fancy nice beds. We just are uh, doing permanent raised beds and mounds. If you wanna learn more about what we're doing, click the link below at www.prosperityhomestead.org. And I better go get myself a big bucket to harvest 
some of the stuff before I put up the fence. A big zucchini like that would make good stuff for some sausage. All right, before it gets weird, www.prosperityhomestead.org.